Hello beautiful internet family, Dan here from DanceTube.tv and today I've got my first impressions of the newly released DJI Action 2. Now right now I'm filming on the Action 2, so let me know in the comments below how does the audio sound, how does the video look. This is 4K 50 frames per second with rock steady on. I'm also going to set up the Horizon Steady and have it mounted to my chest in a second just to see how that performs. Uh, you can't actually do that at 4K, it has to be 2.7K if you want that Horizon Steady. It actually does have quite a major cropping factor to it. But this video is all about my first impressions with the camera. Unfortunately, they aren't extremely positive. Like in its current state right now, I don't think I'd recommend this camera. I think you should wait and see what happens because right now there are way too many major issues for me to even recommend it. I've had more issues than you should have with a high-end action camera. This isn't a cheap unit, so the first thing, the major issue I'm having with it is that it's overheating. Like, it will overheat within a few minutes and shut the system down. Now, I've adjusted the temperature gauge now, so it's actually got a higher threshold. So it will allow the unit to get hotter before it will stop recording. But I live in Australia, and in the EU, if you buy this camera, you actually don't have that option. It's completely greyed out. So for people in the EU, they only have the standard option. And before I enabled the high threshold, I was only getting maybe i think i filmed two separate videos in total maybe seven minutes long and the camera was really hot to the touch i then stopped recording waited a bit started recording to finish the video and the camera had overheated like at this point right now i've been filming for a minute 50 seconds the camera's already getting hot that's not good enough like you can't have a camera an action camera especially that can only record for a few minutes and then it just craps out on you that's just not good enough at all. That's the major issue I'm having with the camera right now. And it seems to be a common thing that a lot of reviewers and people out there are reporting about the Action 2. Now this is in 2.7K, 50 frames per second with the Horizon Steady on. So as I said before, you can't enable Horizon Steady in 4K. You have to use 2.7K. And the idea of this is it does crop it a fair bit, but it makes it look like the Horizon is always steady. So it doesn't have that awkward angled look, which I'll show you a better example very soon. But I guess moving on to the next issue I've had with this camera, which might not be a deal breaker for a lot of people, and I'm sure this can be fixed very soon with the software update, but live streaming doesn't work for me. I couldn't get the YouTube live streaming to work at all. Tried multiple attempts, I tried all different ways, I tried to troubleshoot it, um, I tried different internet connections, different settings, all that stuff, and it would actually set up the live stream saying that it's scheduled on my YouTube channel. I could see it was scheduled, I saw people liking it, but then it just didn't allow me to live stream. It said I was streaming, and then I'd stop it, and the video just didn't go live. So that's hopefully something that can be easily fixed, but it's just another small thing, like this camera should be ready to go out of the box, you know? It's not something, it's not a small thing, it's not a cheap product, so it really should have been ready to go straight away with no major issues. That overheating issue is a big one. The live streaming most people can forget, but there's another big issue I'll talk about right now. So I'm still at 2.7K, 50 frames per second with that Horizon Steady. So hopefully you can see here a little bit of a better example of what it does. It just literally stabilizes the horizon so that you don't have any of that awkward wobbling. Again, I'll show you very soon when I attach it to this magnetic design here, which is something I really love. I love this concept. They've done something very unique here. They haven't just gone with the standard design that we've seen from other action cameras. And that's why I want to love this unit so much. But yeah, just isn't what I was expecting. And there's a lot of issues so far with it. So I guess the next really, really big problem for me so far is that the battery just seems to discharge on me. So charged the unit up 100% last night, turned it off, left it just on the top, woke up this morning, 0% battery, went out to go and film, couldn't film because I had no battery life. Now you would think, oh well it's probably something you've done right Dan. I looked in the settings and by default after five minutes if the unit was on it was meant to power it down anyway. So even if I accidentally left it on, which I definitely didn't because there were no lights on when I went to bed, it just, for some reason, discharged the entire battery. I woke up with 0%. Another major problem. Like, you can't forgive that. That's not a small issue. That's something that, why would you want to leave your camera on overnight, you know? Like, and what happens if you go somewhere, you travel somewhere, you don't use the camera for a day? You know, it should be able to just be turned off and not chew through the battery. But 
it's discharging the entire battery to zero percent so you need to charge it at all times to make sure you're ready to go another major issue that is really putting me off this unit so far okay so this is now 2.7k with that horizon steady so i did test this with the rock steady and the footage was stable but the problem was the horizon wasn't stable so it kind of gave the perception that it wasn't actually stable footage so this is going to be a really cool test to see you know how it actually goes stabilizing the footage i feel like when it's mounted to your neck like this in this kind of chest mount design i feel like it makes the most sense to literally just have it in that horizon steady because you know you can run around you can do what you have to do and the camera may be bouncing off your chest but it's going to be trying to stabilize the horizon um, which is going to be its main focus. So I'm just going to go for like a brief, light little jog here. Let's see how it goes stabilizing the footage and the horizon. All right, let's see. Ooh, I don't know if it's going to be doing a good job. There's no way it's going to be stabilizing this. Okay, I'm going to stop for a sec. It's just bouncing off my chest. I feel like it's uh, not going to be stabilizing the footage. But I mean, if you're just going for a walk, you know, if you're going for a little hike or if you're just going for a brief walk somewhere, uh, it could be a really cool option for you to just walk and vlog. You know, like uh, the microphones are so close to my mouth right now that hopefully the audio is sounding pretty good even with all this wind and a helicopter and everything else. Uh, I guess that's the whole idea of having this mounted to your chest. Obviously you don't have to talk as well and you could just have it around your chest and it can kind of do its own thing. All right, and I also just realized that I had the magnetic puck on the outside of my shirt. So now what I've done is I put it on the inside of my shirt and I have attached the camera on the outside. So that means that there's like a layer of fabric in between it. So hopefully now as I start jogging, it won't actually flip the camera over. It is bouncing. I can feel it bouncing off my chest. So who knows if it's stable? Well, you guys will know. I have no idea. But let's see. I'm just going to get up to here, see how it performs. And then let's just go for a nice little walk up here and see how it goes when it's actually attached between some material you know like previously i noticed the camera was flipping over and that probably wasn't the most stable footage in the world but let's see how this goes you know like if you're doing a basic little hike you're picking up the pace you're not jogging so the camera's bouncing you jump down there's a few things going on like how is it going stabilizing the footage i would love to know in the comments below this is with the horizon steady enabled so we're now back at 4k 50 frames per second like i said horizon steady isn't available this is just rock steady not that it matters because the camera is just sitting on a platform but it is a little bit windy i'm a little worried the camera's going to fall off so i'm going to stay relatively close to it i really do want to love this camera it's such a unique design i love that modular concept and just holding it in your hand like that magnetic clip is very satisfying and you know this unit here holds it perfectly well the little screen underneath does a great job that little battery pack is a very unique concept and i know there's a ton of accessories coming out for this unit the footage itself looks great you know like i want to love this i just hope that software updates will fix it uh, the other thing is that files were struggling to actually run on my computer so i've now changed the settings so it's a more compatible uh, format so hopefully that will improve as well i was going to mention that but hopefully it's just something that will be fixed with the more compatible file type anyway thank you so much for watching guys um i guess the conclusion of this is don't buy the action 2 just yet hold out for another couple of weeks maybe a month until hopefully all of these issues get fixed and then hopefully it will be a really decent action camera. I will have a full review on the channel very soon where I test it in some really cool action scenarios. So look out for that. Let me know what you think of the audio and the video quality. And I'll chat to you in the next one, guys. Peace.